Chris. Yeah. You're just in time to talk about design. Am I? You are. <laughs> You're not getting rid of the floor and ceiling. <laughs> no, again, no, are no, you? no, no. No, the Gibson Burrell approach is far too complicated. You missed the planning meeting yesterday, but we've come to a very simple model. Have you? Anything that happens before the show is called design. Yeah. Anything that happens after the show is called learning. Yeah. And then as well as that, there may be a meeting with the producer. Okay. But that's optional. That costs that co- that co- money. Attendance is not obli- obli- uh, no. obligatory. No, no, no. You see, the, the, well, I'll, I'll just do a little bit of linking into this because JD and myself, we are the design science DJs. Okay. We are the. Well, if you do, if you do a search on YouTube, we are the top, really? top result. Really? Yes. Oh, right. And we achieve this through the magic of radio and radio technique, really, whereby I quote the lightest thing that I've come across and JD says, that doesn't make very much sense. <laughs> And between us, we we um, we maintain our, our our rating on YouTube. I did thought JD would have been able to send it solve the bot strap problem. Oh yes, yes. For new listeners who weren't listening twenty minutes ago, uh, the computer systems have been updated, which is an excellent thing. But our store of linking bits and jingles has disappeared. But Fortunately, Chris has arrived with his mobile device and he believes he's got a Dropbox backup. Other backup cloud systems are available. I have, but our producer might have put so many folded phones <laughs> in it. You just haven't paid me enough money, Chris. That's it. I'm on strike. <laughs> anyway... Uh, what I've gathered is that um, it's possible conversation has moved on and design science was only a step on the way to design thinking because at uh, Like Minds there's at least two workshops about design thinking and we're not quite sure what that is but there may be a loop there may be design doing something uh, learning from that experience and then the management may intervene. You never know. There may be something going on at that stage of the loop before you design again, or maybe that's part of the design. You mean JD might do something? He might. He is the producer. Yes, sir. He might, he might say, this has been going on long enough. Yes, move on. You've made the same move mistakes on. this week that you did last week. Yeah. <laughs> But we may ignore him. Yes, I've decided... we may not need him. I've decided that Chris is going to do a show from the alleyway. From the, the alleyway? Yeah, from the alleyway. So uh, you're not going to let him in at all? Yeah, he's going to no, do the whole we'll, show in the rain. Um, well, that's blue, probably... <laughs> it's not raining. Well, it will be. Well, <laughs> does, it, does it matter, Chris? It, it, I know you have difficulty getting through all the doors, but you seem to get through the outside doors at the moment until we change the code. You, you seem to get so far. Yeah. And then you need a bit of help getting in the final door. But if you were, now you've got your access to, to a cloud database of all the bits and pieces that you need, could we just sort of connect to you and it wouldn't matter, really? No. That wouldn't work? No. Oh. Because if I wasn't here, JD doesn't have a reason to be here. That's true. He is, he is your support system. So I am so, the So Chris Norton, just be careful of what you say and what you do. <laughs> no, I am the building block of the whole world, Chuck. Are you? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, he is, he is. Yes, yeah. that's why it collapsed a few yes, years ago. <laughs> so, I'm going to use another word now, which is, di- well, two words, which are distributed leadership. Because <laughs> it may be that Chris is, in fact, the person who signed the contract. And even though he just does the show, and the producer is sitting to one side, and may or may not intervene, the show may happen anyway. 
Chris, how are you doing with finding stuff? I think what I'll do, I'll play some Hang Massive. I should hey. mention they're going to be here on the 29th of October. Yeah. This is a fairly new uh, track. It was uploaded on the 24th of September, but it's already had 107,000 views. <laughs> and the early ones have had millions. So what I want to know is why are there still tickets available? You would think some of these 107,000 people... <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, isn't it? Well, yeah. how, how many of them live in Devon? <laughs> or could get to Devon? I, would, I should also mention Hang Masses are on tour. They're, all, they're in the UK. They all live with Chris. They all... Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> all in these hotel. People, oh, that's possible. <laughs> anyway, that's another thing we want to ask them at Nightlines. How we, how we translate video views into ticket sales because this is a real and pressing problem the unsold tickets for the 29th 29th of October there are still some this is this is Hang Massive and after this we'll either have found Chris's intro music or we'll play something else <laughs> 